Hello friends, my name is Lalit Soni and you are watching Drishti IES. In this video of InFocus, we will be talking about an event which has happened in Iran. So there was this earthquake which has been recorded in Iran and there are speculations which is saying that it can be a nuclear test as well. So in this video, we will be discussing that whether it can be a nuclear test or not and we will try to understand the situations in the Middle East and how this particular event can have various implications in the area. So let's start with the discussion. So Iran earthquake sparks nuclear test speculation. Again, it is a speculation. There are different conspiracy theories which are working behind it. There are social media which is saying that it can be a nuclear test, but there are no further or you can say proven evidence of it. So let's start with the discussion. Here we'll be discussing certain things. We will start with the news and then we will be talking about the events overview. We will be seeing that what has happened, where it has happened, what was the location, what was the depth, all these things we'll be discussing. After that, We'll be talking about the political context and the timing okay then we'll be moving with the seismic activity versus nuclear testing that is the major question today whether it was a seismic activity or natural activity or it was a nuclear test by iran then we'll be talking about the implication for the regional security we will be looking at the various event which has happened in the recent past in the area and then we'll try to understand what is the implication of this particular event then we'll be talking about the iran's nuclear capabilities when we talk about Iran's nuclear capabilities, you know that that has always been, uh, you can say, issue of discussion. Uh, when we are talking about the USA, USA has this concern. Other than that, USA, you can say that uh, uh, Israel or the other Western allies also, they are having concern with respect to the Iran's nuclear capabilities. Okay, so we will be talking about that. And then we'll move further with the conclusion, whether it was a tremor or a nuclear test. In the end, there will be a practice question for you. So you have to attempt that question and answer to me in the comment box. So let's start. Before moving further, we have this GS Foundation course which are starting at our different center Lucknow and Karol Bagh on 16th October at Lucknow and 17th October at Karol Bagh. So you can directly visit the center to get enrolled or you can call on this number that is 8010440440. For any kind of inquiry or query, you can call on this number or for admissions, you can directly visit the center. Okay, let's move further and start with the discussion here. The news was a 4.6 magnitude earthquake struck Iran on October 5th, 2024, 44 kilometers southwest of the Semenan province at the depth of 10 kilometers. Now, there are two factors uh, which are mentioned over here. One was the magnitude that is 4.6 and the depth that is 10 kilometers. So, please keep that in mind because we'll be taking reference to these two factors. Okay. Then tremors were felt as far as Tehran, about 110 kilometers away. A second and weaker tremor was reported in Israel, prompting social media speculations. Okay, so because of the social media speculation, there was this question which has raised, which has been raised, that is whether it is a nuclear test or a natural activity. Okay, then we talk about the Semenan province, which is located over here in the northern side of the Iran. Okay, so this is Iran, and the, in the north of Iran, we have this Semenan province. Okay. Now, moving further and starting with the first thing that is event overview. So, we have seen that there was a 4.6 magnitude earthquake which has happened in Iran on October 5th, 2024, 44 kilometers south of the Semenan province and it, it was happening at the or it has happened in the uh, at the depth of 10 kilometers. Okay. Then moving further here, you will be seeing if we talk about the location details which we have already seen. After that, you will be seeing that location is important over here because this is in the vicinity of the Iran's nuclear facilities. Okay. And since it was in the vicinity of Iran's nuclear facilities, and that is why this particular speculation was there that it can well, uh, very well be a, you can say nuclear test. Okay. Then moving further speculation of the nuclear activity, as we have discussed that there was this suspicions that it can be a nuclear activity because it was in the vicinity of the nuclear facilities and whenever there is a uh, nuclear test there are some you can say uh, tremors which can be felt okay so that is why it is speculated that it can be an earthquake here you can see the earthquake raised suspicions of uh, a possible underground nuclear test amid escalating test tensions in the region then social media reaction and because mostly it is because of the social media media's reactions then moving further geopolitical context we will be talking about the geopolitical context in the detail but you know that when we talk about this area the middle east we recently we have seen that there was this issue with respect to israel hamas then there was this issue with respect to israel and uh, lebanon 
then direct involvement of Iran has also been there in the Israel's when we have seen that there was various missiles which has been you can say fired from Iran's side on Israel so that was also there so considering all these things these speculations are there in the you can say social media then moving for the nuclear ambitions of the Iran now considering the equation in the area there are high chances that Iran might consider the nuclear option okay again uh, after 2016 also you can see that there was this question which has been raised with respect to the enrichment of the uh, you can say uranium in the area Iran has nearly reached 60 percent of the enrichment of uranium which is basically uh, when we talk about the uranium enrichment when you mine uranium so at that point of time it will be having 0 0.7 percent enrichment and then Further, if you go for 3 to 5 percent of enrichment, this is used for the electricity generation or the nuclear power generation, etc. After that, the you know 60 percent is also used in the nuclear reactors, etc. But if you go for the 90 percent enrichment, that is basically your weapon grade enrichment, wherein you can go for the nuclear bombs, etc. Or you can say, uh, when we are talking about the nuclear test, etc., 90 percent enrichment is uh, required, okay. Right now, Iran is having 60% of it. So, there are high chances that it will not take much time for them to go to 90% of the enrichment, okay? Because of the, when we talk about the mathematics and the simulations behind that, that will not take much time. Right now, whatever capacity Iran has, in five months, if Iran wants, they can go for the, you can say, having a nuclear weapon with them, okay? So, that is there. Now, let's move further and look at the, you know, situation in this particular area. When we talk about Iran, Israel, you know that with Gaza, all these things has started. 7th October 2023, Hamas attack on Israel. Okay, Hamas has attacked Israel and after that, Israel has gone for the retaliation. Okay, and then you have seen that there was this crisis which has started after that recently, you must see in the northern border of Israel and the, you can say southern side of the Lebanon, you will be seeing that there was this aggression which has been shown by Israel over here and Israel has actually moved into the Lebanon's territory. Okay. Other than that, also various, you can say, key uh, leaders of the Hezbollah and Houthi groups has been killed by Israel. So, considering all these things, Iran has actually entered into the situation. Okay. Now, Iran has also fired certain missiles and recent tests or you can say recent earthquakes has given this speculation that there can be tests and that worries the Israel. Okay. So, this is the situation right now in the Middle East. Okay. So, you can see that uh, Israel region Palestinian, uh, you can say Hamas part over here in the Gaza Strip, Lebanon has already entered it, part of you can say uh, Yemen's Houthi rebels, they have also entered the war, other than that now Iran is moving into it, okay, so this is the situation in Middle East right now, so looking at the political context and the timing, so here you can say earthquake uh, uh, occurred during the escalating tensions between Iran and Israel, so these tensions are on rise and then there is this tremors which has been felt Historical background if we talk about, so we have seen that 7th October 2023, Hamas attack has happened and after that Israel has retaliated, the nearly 42,000 Palestinian casualties has been seen during the uh, these events. After that, key Hezbollah and Hamas leaders were killed by Israel, okay. After that, October 1st, 2024, Iran launched nearly 400 missiles, uh, you know, towards Israel. So, all these events are happening and then these tremors are felt and because of which these speculations are there, okay. Regional impact, if you talk about the volatile geopolitical atmosphere, provide a fertile ground for the nuclear test speculations, okay. So, that is why we are discussing all these things. Now, moving further, if we talk about the seismic activities versus the nuclear testing, why is that we are saying, saying that it can be a nuclear testing when Iran is saying that it is a seismic activity, okay. So, there was this, uh, you can say, uh, tremor which are of the magnitude that is 4.6, okay. Now, these tremors are there and when we talk about the nuclear testing, they are saying that it is a nuclear testing because where it has happened, that site is near to the, uh, you can say, Iran's nuclear facility, okay. So, that is why these speculations are there. But looking at the magnitude, okay, or you can say looking at the depth, that is, you can say a shallow depth of 10 kilometers, we cannot say that it can be a nuclear testing, okay. So, when, whenever we are going for the nuclear testing, so there can be tremors and here you can see there are certain challenges conducting the underground nuclear test without surface disruption, it cannot be possible. Whenever there is a nuclear test, there can be, uh, you can say, these surface disruption, okay. And if you want to make it covert or if you don't want to go for the surface disruption, that is a complex process. 
now a 4.6 magnitude event is not definitive proof of nuclear explosion so basically they are saying that considering the wave patterns and other uh, indicators which are there we cannot say that it is a nuclear test okay so here you can see characteristics of a nuclear test underground nuclear detonation can cause seismic events that resembles the earthquake okay though whenever you are going for the nuclear test there can be tremors okay so that can happen but the kind of uh, you can say tremors which they have felt right now or the wave patterns which they have seen that is not resembling a you can say nuclear test moving further a shallow depth of 10 kilometer of the earthquake aligns with the uh, natural seismic activity but uh, could also be indicative of the underground explosion now they are saying that the depth that is 10 kilometers that can be a sign of a nuclear test or a natural activity because uh, for in both cases that can happen the magnitude can also be there but the thing is the wave pattern or the other indicators which are there which are not suggesting this particular thing when we talk about the earthquake earthquake have primary waves secondary waves etc so looking at the wave pattern you can say that whether it was a artificial activity or a natural activity but looking at these wave patterns it is suggested that it might not be a you can say nuclear activity okay moving further implications for the regional security we have seen the situation of the middle east okay so for the middle east the stability is the need of the r but if there are these speculation or any kind of conspiracy theory that can actually increase the escalation in the region okay so that is one thing earthquake raises concern over the stability in the volatile region because there are few people who are actually suggesting that it can be a nuclear test okay so that is one thing second policy maker strategic consideration because now if israel is taking any action so israel has to consider all the things that it can very well be a natural activity okay so that is there otherwise there can be you can say uh, rise in the tension in this particular area then nuclear speculations which we have already seen that since the equation between iran and israel is not right or the timing is not right and because of which these spe speculations are there and that can further escalate the situation now Iran, Israel, escalating risk which is there which we have already discussed and the military perspective we have also seen. Okay, So that is why in this reason for the stability it is important that they sort it out. They do not go for any kind of speculative activities. Okay, So that is there. Moving further if we talk about Iran's nuclear capabilities which we have already seen but uh, here we can talk about them in detail nuclear enrichment level up to 60%. Right now Iran is having that up to 60%. And one more step and they can be at the 90% enrichment and that is basically your weapon grade enrichment. So that is where you will be going for a nuclear weapon. Okay, so that is their near weaponization threshold which has uh, which right now Iran is having. Iran's uranium enrichment is at 60% just below the 90% needed for the nuclear weapon raising alarm globally. Okay, so that is one concern. Second thing is potential for weaponization within months. Okay. Now, if Iran wants to go for a weaponization, it will take nearly five months for Iran, even less. Thick. So, considering that there are various tensions in this region or you can say various concerns are there in Israel or USA or other Western allies. Okay, So, here you can see, expert estimate Iran could produce enough uh, fissile material for a nuclear bomb under, uh, you know, few weeks. Okay, And if they want to, you know, go for uh, you can say production of the nuclear warheads so they can go for production of 12 nuclear warheads within five months okay so that is the kind of uh, capacity iran right now is having okay then missile capabilities and the delivery systems when we talk about the missile capabilities and the delivery systems iran already has it okay so advanced military technology iran's existing missile system could potentially deliver nuclear warheads and complicating the regional security dynamics so basically one thing which is you know restricting Iran from having a uh, you can say a nuclear weapon that is just that they have to achieve the 90% enrichment that is right now they are having 60% okay so that is not a big deal because the math behind it and the simulations behind it are not very uh, you can say uh, you can say Iran might not feel very much difficulty in arriving at those equations okay so that is there about the Iran's nuclear capabilities now moving further if we talk about the conclusion whether it was a test or a tremor so here you can see iran's known nuclear sites are fortified underground and the shallow depth of the earthquake is curious but not definitive proof of a nuclear explosion so considering the wave pattern etc that is not a definitive proof only there can be chances but it is not a definitive proof so that is there even though the international atomic energy agency a uh, sorry iaea 
that is continuing to monitor the uh, you can say facilities in Iran. Iran's growing uranium enrichment levels combined with the missile capabilities are intensifying the concerns that Iran, uh, the nuclear armed Iran may be uh, may soon become a reality. So basically they are saying that though it is not a definitive proof that that was a uh, you can say nuclear activity but there are high chances that in the future Iran might get the nuclear weapon. So that is a concern right now in the Middle East. Okay, So we have discussed the equation with respect to the Middle East. We have seen that whether it can be a nuclear test or uh, you can say natural activity. So there can be chances but the wave patterns etc are suggesting otherwise. Okay, So in the end we are having this question for you which you have to attempt and answer. Which agency is responsible for the monitoring nuclear activities and ensuring compliance in Iran? WHO. IAEA that is basically you can say International Atomic Energy Agency then NATO and then UNGA that is UN General Assembly okay so you can attempt this question answer to me in the comment box with that I would like to take your leave I'll see you in the next episode till then have a good day thank you and please subscribe the channel bye for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications